Hi, I'm Joseph Brasher from Clear Creek Solutions. I'm here to talk to you about the number one stormwater modeling problem that we have today. If you don't know about Clear Creek Solutions, we are the designers and developers of the WWHM, the Western Washington Hydrology Model, as well as WWHM4, the new and upcoming WimSwim, as well as many other software packages used along the West Coast and all the way down into the state of Texas. We've become known for pioneering the continuous simulation hydrology in terms of developing it and using it in a easy to use software package. That's kind of what the WWHM became. Now, if you don't know what continuous simulation hydrology is, it's a way to map the entire hydrologic cycle. And it started with HSPF, which was developed in the 70s. We took this system or this new way of analyzing hydrology as opposed to single event modeling, which just happens in a vacuum. We took HSPF, we put that in an easy to use interface. That was the first version of the WWHM all the way up to the newest version, which is WWHM 2012. We took the principles of HSPF, we put it in an easy to use user friendly software package that is now used, like I said, all the way up the West Coast, all the way down to the southern part of the country to model their stormwater facilities accurately and the best of their ability. There are other software packages that are able to model part of the hydrologic cycle, but none can do it as well as the continuous simulation in WWHM 12, WWHM 4. These are the best ways to do it and the best ways to model our facilities to meet flow duration criteria, prevent those erosive flows. And they've been used for over 20 years now in some areas. Now we know it is difficult to model the entire hydrologic process. Even a software like WWH in 2012 doesn't have many hydraulic modeling capabilities. People turn to other softwares like EPA Swim, for example, where you can build complex swim networks and be able to model some of those hydro, uh, hydraulic functions um, it doesn't have the greatest hydrologic functions. That's where something with continuous simulation comes in. But people have been using those for quite a while now, but there's a big problem with how this is being used today. It seems that there are many software packages that can do one thing really well, but all the other things poorly. If we look at EPA Swim, it can do a good job of, uh, of modeling the hydraulic processes, but not so great at doing hydrology. It may have some of its own functions of continuous simulation, but it's not very usable and not very accurate. If you take something like WWHM 2012, it's great at modeling the hydrologic process, but not so great when it comes to hydraulics. You kind of need to combine all these different methods together. And this is the biggest problem that we are experiencing. When someone is trying to model the entire hydrologic cycle for a project site, if you take a sample project site, for example, we've got a developer, they want to put in some houses and some roads. We're going to need to use three, four, who knows how many software packages and methods to model this whole system together. You're gonna need land use information and put it into a continuous simulation model. Then we're gonna to have to take that information, put it into a hydraulics model. Maybe we need to do separate calculations to calculate sewer pipe sizes. It just, it goes on and on. There's a lot of different things that people are having to use. And this hodgepodge of technique is the biggest problem when it comes to project development. Think about this for a second. If we're using multiple aspects or these multiple software packages, your own Excel spreadsheets that you've built over the years, EPA Swim, doesn't matter if you're using all these methods, you're wasting a lot of time bouncing data between these different things. And it's making it very difficult for you to finish your project on time quickly, be able to go back and reference data that you did in a previous project because it's all spread out all through all these different methods. It's just sort of thrown together to be able to get you a product and a result. And that works for a lot of people and engineers are great. Now, this has no, nothing to do with the people working in the industry, but the tools that they have available. The tools have not been good enough to help them reach their potential when it comes to modeling these projects. So like I said, using a variety of these methods, it's wasting a lot of time and money. And time is money. It's extremely valuable when it comes to projects, when it comes to finishing a project and making clients happy. So what is the solution to this problem? We know this is a problem. We can't go on doing this forever. We need to be able to come up with a solution to make it much, much easier to combine all these processes together and then create a cohesive software where we can do everything and even go back and reference that project in the future to make further improvement. So what is the solution? Well, software developers at Clear Creek Solutions, we understood this problem, and so we decided to come up with the solution. That's where the software WimSwim comes in. Software WimSwim is exactly that. We're taking the hydrologic capabilities of WWHM, combining it with the hydraulic power of Swim, but integrating it into one software package. No more are you gonna be bouncing files back and forth between a couple different softwares, it's all going to be integrated in one. 
You can use the elements of one in another. It is very, very powerful tool with amazing analysis features. We took that continued simulation power of HSPF and WWHM 2012 and all your favorite elements. We've combined it with SWIM, so you don't need to move those hydrographs over. All combined in the same software, all the analysis tools are integrated and you can model anywhere that we have Clerkery Solutions map data or precipitation data. So what does this mean? This means that there's now one cohesive way to model your projects. You do not need to bounce between these different methods. This integration is not only going to be more convenient for the stormwater modelers, it's going to help you with so many things. You're getting complete projects faster. You're gonna be able to reference information much easier. This will save time and money and make your clients happier. So this is the point of WimSwim. Yes, we all know that tools are an end to the means and that is a final, a great final design for our clients and for our project. And that's exactly what WimSwim is. It's gonna be the best tool. It's gonna to be the most all-encompassing tool that's ever been developed for modeling the entire hydraulic, hydrologic process and that entire hydrologic cycle. You're simply just going to select your location, get your precipitation data, build out your model with all the elements and tools that you're gonna need available to size your facilities, size your pipe networks. It is all available in WimSwim. If you wanna learn more about WimSwim's capabilities and what it's able to do, you can go to the link in the description to learn more about WimSwim. We'll be happy also if you give us a call or send us an email, we'll tell you more about it. But this is a very exciting tool for the industry, something that has been needed for a long time and we're very, very happy to deliver it to you. Like I said, if you have any questions, you can leave a comment down below or come talk to us at Clear Creek Solutions and we will see you guys next time.